Welcome, Guardians. What's going on, fellow Guardians? We are playing Crota's End, running a solo. Um, just started here on the first part, just dropped in, already got the chest. Um, every Tuesday morning, I drop in and grab the chest on all three of my characters real quick. So, um, you'll never catch me running the chest here normally, but gonna run this solo real quick I was bored last night and I decided which was about three o'clock in the morning Eastern I decided to um, give this raid a try solo I've seen other people do it I've never actually tried it before I never thought there would be a point to it but um, ended up changing my mind ended up doing this raid solo so um, enjoy this first part here as I just uh, talk a little bit through it of why I'm doing it and how I'm doing it um, well why I already told you and how I'm um, I'm a level 31 hunter right now, and the special perks are uh, when you crouch, you would go invisible for a, a specific amount of time, as you do see here I'm using. Um, I've seen other videos, people doing this method as well, and it's worked for them, so I figured, uh, hey, why not try to get some free loot, some free armor. Haven't gotten any raid armor yet for my hunter, so um, we're going to give that a shot here and see what we get. But as you see here, pretty smooth so far. I mean, just running through, uh, if you get into a quick crunch here on you see. The R1 button is going to, uh, I'm going to stab and actually go invisible. So you can go invisible by that, or you can actually go by crouching. Um, I don't have the extended crouch invisibility yet, where you kind of go for another five seconds or so, or however long it is, you know, the extended amount of time. Um, I think it's called Shadow Jack. Um, don't have Shadow Jack yet, and I don't have that extended time, so... Um, and then a lot of other people, too, that I've watched videos of, they've used the patience and time with the perk where if you scope down the sights, you do also go invisible while you're scoped. So um, that way is kind of cheap. Um, I mean, even though you can get the job done this way as well, I thought that that way would be pretty cheap to do. Um, you just got to hold down the scope and just aim down the sights. I didn't have that upgrade yet, though. Um, but either case, just running through here, I'm about more than halfway down. The next couple ones here, I should run into where I would. Ha I'm gonna have to run up to the right, which is this one here, actually. Um, run up to the right, up on the hill. I remember the first couple times I've done this as well. I got lost going up here and fell down this hole here. Um, but that hasn't happened right now. So we're about three away. I'm um, gonna use my invisibility one more time here. Thralls are getting kind of close to me, so I got to make sure this this last long run here is worth it. And then if you look to the left, that's where the bridge is. So that's the last run. That's the last lantern that you have to get to. I'm all out of invisibility with crouch. So I do believe I go and make an attempt to melee somebody here, which I did. Um, just giving me some time to kind of run past that light, activate the bridge, um, and then get back towards the rock. If you get up on this rock here, you actually lose light or you lose darkness so that was the whole purpose of getting up on that rock just so when it does explode um, I can actually get off of the rock and move around and also jump so that's what kinda saved me here a little bit is I had that it was just times two rather than times eight or nine so I was able to get back up on that rock you see the only one that's really going to affect the way you play here is this ogre so once you take the ogre down there's only one of them when you're playing solo I do believe when there's six people playing normally there's two. There's one right there and one spawn to the left. But after that happens, man, um, you know, I know Bungie's going to probably go through and, and and patch this for some reason. I know they just announced patches for next Tuesday. Um, but this here, I mean, I don't think this is cheap at all. They put this in the game here. It may have been a design error. I doubt it, though. Um, it always seems like they leave little intentional things in there um, to, to help you get past very difficult parts. But... Um, this by yourself, you would not last out there on the floor, but once you're up in this rock, no thralls or nothing goes on to disturb that plate. So right now, just killing a couple to kill some time. Um, I'm going to let the music play in the background, that way you can hear the rest of the way. So, as you heard there, that music gets a little loud okay, towards the end when it teams. actually um, builds all the way, and that's kind of an indicator on the uh, bridge being open. So that's part one of the raid of Crota's End. I make a little funny-ass gesture there because uh, I, I, you know, it's my first time going through, so I felt, uh, you know, just a little cocky, but 
appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like button. Uh, also hit follow on Twitch, please. Um, you can also press the subscription oh. button. I got the dog gauge there. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Tune into part two of Crota's Raid.